Loon Kane here, and this is Ledge. It's apparently a 2D platforming action adventure RPG. It's a shooter, it's an RPG, it has story, procedurally generated weapons, unique bass but the bass battles, boss battles, and an, a world creator. It all sounds pretty awesome. They have societies, they have settings, which hopefully everything does, but then there is one sad note from the developer. I've loved laboring on ledge, but I want to seek new projects. It is 23.8% storyline complete. It is fun, funny, quirky, and roughly 1.5 hours of gameplay. I hope to come back and add the rest slowly, but no promises. Three years is a long time for anyone. It is easily extendable with the world editor, etc. Hope you all enjoy it. It's a Java 8. It says 1.5 gigs of video memory. That sounds ridiculous, but that's... yeah. Java. Anyway, he's looking for $4 or more for it. The game does look really interesting. Hopefully it's awesome, but hopefully he completes it if that's the case. Well, anyway, let's get into it. Alright, and we're back. Just so you all know, if anybody decides to end up playing this, in order to go to full screen mode, you tick the full screen, accept it, and restart the game. But whatever. My character will be Logan. What else would it be? Introduction to Ledge in the beginning of the journey. Loading. Loading. So I'm a white dot. Okay. Wow, this is looking trippy already. Heh, <laughs> Izzy. Cole, it's time to get up. Head off to... Okay, press enter. Woo, of course. I've been up all night. It's it's time to go now. I can't miss the first transledge flight. I, I, I just have to find some fi f finalizing steps on the pack. <laughs> Be sure to get something to eat before heading out. All right. Clicking do anything? No. I thought maybe those were doors. All right. Very interesting art style. Hey, Runt, where are you running off to? I'm going to Gramps. Finalizing the test for... Uh, more tinkering? You gotta quit going out there soon. We in the council deem him unsafe. Then, he may not be so free to do what he wants. The council wishes to bring its justice? Come on, father. He's so harmless. We're just testing a useless gadget. Like, it's so different from healing research and appendage construction. Your mom tells me how useless it is. Putting on functional replacements are one thing, but extending the human body to incorporate new abilities? Just keep it between your brother and you, then. That's a question. Can't let the town get word of what you're doing today. Yes, sir! Okay, that was stupid. Do you have anything to say? Do I press enter on you? Okay. When are we... He's not ready. Not even of age yet. We've got to be careful with this one. There. Can I go down here? Okay, up is jump. Alright, that's something. Okay. Enter space, space, enter. Enter space, wall. Hey, here, here, right? Going up to Grump's house? Alright, ask you a question, mate. <laughs> Cullen lands a big. lands on Big Kid's shoe with a thud. You've fallen, silly my tire, Rump. What's wrong with you? Gonna make me chant day after I take my rights. You can't challenge one who isn't of age. But hasn't your father taught you that yet? My father taught me to fight, what of it? Practice, right, boys? To fight, get within melee range of your opponent and swing weapon around so as to inflict bonus damage by the extra force. Sometimes, however, it isn't worth it. Ugh, I win. That's the finest beatdown you've ever given. Maybe I need to best myself then. I need practice fleeing too, right? Suddenly scared, realizing this is a serious situation. He could die, looking down at the, searching the ground. Your father didn't <coughs> teach you to f flee, though? Or oh, you're blathering. Cullen suddenly pulls a wrench from nearby and catches the bully off guard. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, not fair, officer, aid me! This is an annoying mechanic of attacking. I guess I have to just swing the mouse around? Bully 2 comes intentively. 
When in combat with multiple enemies, remember to keep moving and keep moving your weapon. Swinging your weapon more means more blocking and damage bonuses. So. Anyone else want some practice? No, good job, Cole. You must have learned well from your grandpa. Kid walks away, leaving two in extreme pain. You all right, boys? I think you broke my wrist. I'm gonna get you soon, boy. Get back. I wonder why no one likes you. Cullen slowly walks off again. Yeah, your friends count. All right. Well, what's this thing? Something I can smash? And by the way, this is the most hammer-looking wrench I've ever seen in my life. I, I, I see nothing that makes me think, oh, that's a wrench. Although, I do think hammer. Oh, wow, I just I didn't even look at the background until now. What is with these shitty controls? I'm just sliding off of everything. Jeez. I feel like I'm running uphill, and the slant's getting bigger. Anyway, this is interesting, to say the least big old door. Let's beat up this machine. Hey, Gramps. Oh, my boy. Good to see you. You look worse off than normal. Why is everybody going like weird voice? I don't know why I come. Why do we do this, Gramps? You know, Cole, you are special and have a desire to understand and provide things to benefit these people. Okay. They're just too blind, blittering, buffoony to realize the common good. You are my grandson, you know? Come, let me care for you. It's just... just... Uh, not worth it? Of course not. These foolhardy folks will passionately seek to bring you down. Standards are so... Stop! You mustn't say that. You know it's against standards. It will put us in danger. Dad has been warning me. I'm sure you too. Will it put us more in danger than what we're working on? The pronifications on our own ponderous plots is too gross, but more so they fear our inklings to pursue our passions. It is in itself an affront to them more than our plots. It is freedom they disagree with as change is a chance of virgin best left untouched. You are the most confusing conspiracist I know. I was really expecting him to say cramps. One can only hope I'm rubbing off on you indeed, and grammar if not in thought, am I not? Though you and I both know your heart. I understand neither your grammar nor your heart. Of course, but you're a splendidly brilliant trap off 15. You get that from your father. <laughs> Come, let's explore the problem for us. Holy shit, Gramps, you can run. What the fuck is this? It looks like a roach. Hello, the skin? Cole. Well met. Ready to... Whoa, you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Let's finish. The young woman been challenged. But he is not of age. Who did this? Haven't they respect for standards? Let me challenge. Challenge what? Whoops. Challenge what? You challenge standards? Fight the council? <laughs> Let's take our own challenge. Sky remains untouched by us. It's certainly not going to challenge itself. You are so confusing, Gramps. Telling Munchen's kind of in triumph indicating he is right in the most confusing person around. I'm old and confused as well. Don't worry, foolish challenges. <sighs> Let's see what we mess with. Cole, you inspired the issue we were having with the crank source tank? Can, can, cantankerous tank. Okay. Factory finished up a new one along with the pins. And yes, we updated the boilerplate firewall yesterday. Should be fine. Should, should is young. Uh, yeah, we've, we've checked it a dozen times. Uh, it worked similarly. All the trials before this one. Well, there's just few concepts I'm still praising. Well, just a quick trip then. But what are we going to do? What are we going to shoot for the ledge across the way? Didn't you say to learn to communicate with them? They, they're waiting for us today. They, they understand these setbacks. Patient wins the day. Take it easy and... You're okay, then. Off you go. Woohoo! Time to get off this rock. First person, fly to another ledge. And brother, Ken, next. When you touch down, fasten quickly and leave the pack running. For when I cross over behind you, save me some time. Cool, I'll need to modify it special. Uh, accommodate your augmentation, boy. But now, time will come eventually. Now, did we forget anything yesterday? Of course not. It's set, Gramps. Fine, fine. 
Ready to say farewell, friend? You have packed your... Of course, I'm tooled up and I have food and supplies and I'm ready to go now. He moves to the launch pad. His patience gets from his father, lack thereof. Remember, my boy, life is not such a race. Savor your victories, as much as the process get there. Your life and some, some accomplishments. Then you write your book on process while we base in victory. That's a good trade-off. Touche, it's time, I suppose. Come on, Gramps, this is a culmination of many years. Let's go celebrate victorious and wish Co well. Holy shit, Grandpa can jump. Well, you can wish Cole well. I'm gonna climb up this and see what the hell's going on. Cause I'm tired of... What is up here? Hmm. Looks like some place to jump off the ledge and die. Interesting to see that it looks like cannons and trees in the background on the mountains. Whatever. Alright, Mr. Mini Mechanic, go ahead and push to the boiler. Kick cranking! Oh, right, I have to hit enter. It's so inconvenient. I use the mouse for everything and then I have to go press enter. Will do. This really is nothing new, Gramps. But a new scope, brother. A new ledge. I can see it now. Are they waving? The first conversation? I wonder if they speak the same language. The first of many, hopefully. Cole, you attached the safety rope? You mean the civilization bridge? Of course. I want to communicate with them more than Co. I don't see him getting in any challenges. Farewell. Whoa, whoa. That's it. Do we... Is it ready? Yes! <laughs> If young men deferred older, we'd never accomplish anything, I suppose. Gramps, it's your life's dream. Are you ready? Of course, my boy. Your, me your manic mechanic has set, set you up for a splendid ride. Tell the pretty women across the way. Ratch says hi. Show you, Gramps. Farewell. Off you go! The gauges read the boilers and gorge. Let this bird fly. Coyne grabs the lever, ready to pull back. Looks at Gramps. Ratchet nods slowly, giving a slight grin. Okay, that's really weird. Jetpack? As Colleen sweeps the lever in one big motion, the primary claw holding it is released and propelled into the air. Okay, let's move on. Oh, I had to press enter again. Colleen travels a bit towards the opposite ledge, but suddenly this backfire, black smoke comes pouring out. I'm guessing her brother dies. I've been thinking this the whole time. Ah, lad, grab the rope till he's got to come back. That black bellowing won't let us see what's happening. Cullen tugs on the rope three times, signaling Kogan to retreat back to the garage to wrench down the jetpack further. Ah, it's not a good response. Come back, my boy! I can't see. Turns crank to pull rope in quickly. Him. Ooh, stressful music now. Careful, lad. We need to give him slack to land again. Looks at the gauge. Oh, no! What's... A crank pin broke. The flywheel must be erratic and completely out of control. Come get the blower. There's no use for us now. He's got to reel himself. Oh, he just went flying over to the side. The boiler's at critical load. He's going over the warehouse. Why? He doesn't want to risk blowing us. <laughs> or the gear. Blasted idiot. Quick. Garage. Top side. Must leave my boat. Jeez. Must leave the rope, my boy. He'll just drag you with him. Quick, follow him. Bring him back if you can. Take the path over to the warehouse to the elevator and down the chute. Wait. Can I do something that's not using the mouse? Eh, I have to use the mouse. Alright. I'm guessing I go up here? Damn it. This, this controls are awful. As soon as you're on a hill, you just slide. And it screws with your ability to move. While you're in the air. When nearing an elevator or a similar object, jump inside and press the action. E, E around. Oh, I can press E. Okay. That's much better than pressing enter. Okay, interesting elevator. And clearly, I'm not moving with the elevator. It's pulling me along because I can't move forward. Alright. Whoops. May stumble into inviting objects. Okay, there we go. Well, this is interesting. Oh, God. Can I climb that? No. Well, maybe. Let's see. Looks like I should be able to. I can stand on this thing, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know. 
I go over here, go in the brain. Oh, maybe I just am supposed to go down here. Hit. Catching up to the smoke, Helen sees his brother crashes in the middle of the town proper. There are many people in the market, each face recognizing the other. <gasps> That's Cole and Co. What have they... They've continued the... Have they no respect for standards? Okay, can I... All about the standards. This game is... The dude who made this game must have a real big problem with authority. Where's the councilman? Hey, fuck you guys. I'm gonna beat you in the head with my hammer wrench. Cuh, get up. We need to... Twist it up in metal. Let legs burned, arms burned, bloodied and silly. Cole, we, we won the best kind of challenge. She's the breast of his damage to his brother's body. Let me try to get... No. You must leave. Go back. Flee. What'd I do? You did nothing. We dreamed of change, and it has been wrought. Now go before the council comes, and show what they believe is the manifestation of change. No! I must stay! What'd you do to my... Boy! We didn't... The tests... You... Eyes turned to Cole. You certainly broke the norm. Looks like Cole's stealing himself. Culligan, you need to run to Ratchet immediately. Tell him what happened. Tell him to go ahead. Go now. But brother, I... Father, I don't understand. Kogan holds his brother's hand. Looks around quickly. Kerrigan stands up, pushes his son, and screams. Go! Do what I said! Looks in disbelief. I'm sorry. I did. I'm sorry, Ko. <laughs> Alright, let's go get Ratchet. A kid from group earlier bumps into him. Looks disapproving. He shoves him away, and he starts running back. Okay. The councilman starts out and tries to see Kelligan, but he hits him hard. The councilman turns and yells how fierce the boys are, and the rest of the men on the way engage Cole on the way back to Gramps. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Oh, that's not a... Okay, just the... Oh, no, don't go down there. I don't want to go down here. No! Kelligan arrives in shock into the sewers. Through here, he must reach and activate the mill, which he may scale to get ratchets. Relatively hidden. Okay. Oh, I'll get there while being hidden myself so nobody sees me. Got it. It all makes sense now. Okay, more platforming. So, yeah, this... The story is actually really good. And some... From what I understand, the developer spent three years of his life on it. Then just decided he needed to do something else, I guess. To pull a switch, walk up to it and press the action key. I guess that's a switch. Oh. Oh, there's a crouch? Okay, that's crouching, huh? Okay. If you say so. If you say that's crouching. But yeah, it's definitely a game. It's definitely a game that seems good. And I can do weird crawling and knock somebody's head off. You'll die a lot in ledge. Upon death, press the action key or F2 to respawn at the last save. Saves within levels are frequent, so be aggressive. Alright. Okay, these bullies, or whoever they are, are pretty... Okay. They're pretty weak. I just walk into them pretty much and they die. It's like I'm playing ease or something. Oh, I'm dead. So respawn. Ah! Ah! Ah, excuse me. Swing and hammer wildly. I wish I didn't have to use the mouse to swing the hammer. That would be fantastic. Ah! <laughs> I lost my head. So do I just respawn and they don't? I think that's what's going on here. This is very... Actually really hard. I don't know what I'm supposed... I know you swing it around to block and stuff. Unless I'm just supposed to hold it in a certain spot. No, I'm not. 
How do I do this? There we go. There we go. And then there's a switch here, so I have to pull it, right? Oh! I could have dropped boxes on him. Killed him that way. Alright. Well. It just kind of threw me off. That's kind of annoying. I guess I'll keep going this way. Do I need to knock these guys out? No. Just need to get over to Gramps. And then when I get to Ratchet, I'll probably wrap up the video then, because there's just a lot of nothing going on. But man, this game is... It's its something else. I don't hate it. I, I In fact, I quite like it. But let's see what Gramps has to say. Let's, let's crawl. You know what? I want to do this. Do the worm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, where's Gramps at? There he is. Hey Gramps, I came here to talk to you. I was told to come get Ratchet. What? Oh! I did not know I had this. I just noticed the power thing at the bottom. So I came to Ratchet, and he's doing nothing. But I don't know what they want me to do. Was I supposed to go up further? Well, let's try going up here. And by up further, I mean that. No, well, probably not. And here's the windmill. Looks like I need to get that mill moving to scale the hill. Okay, what mill? Oh, this mill. Sit here and let my power come back. And jump and fly. How do I get this thing to move? Hmm. Am I taking damage? Or oh, I see. I have health in the bottom left hand corner. I don't know. What is this? What is this? Well, let's go over here and see what these guys have to say. Hello, friends. The door is locked. Oh, is this my home? Well... I really don't know what to do now. And while I actually quite like this game, I think it's time to wrap it up, because... What the hell am I supposed to do? All the enemies are dead, I think. Oh, there's some guys. Let's, uh, swing at you. There we go. They're all dead now. Unless that's it to the story. Unless that's where he stopped and that's what he considers an hour and 23% complete. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, well that's it. Oh. I didn't even know there was an there's inventory. To swap. Click gun. <laughs> there's a gun. I don't know. Well... Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, really good. Too bad the guy's not going to keep doing it. But yeah, that's Ledge. You can buy it on ETO if you want, but the developer himself said he pretty much abandoned it. So, yeah, 